as we spoke of in the Master Streams class this month, we were asking all the engine companies to test their humid valve. Now, humid valves are used by many engines most often on a daily basis. So that part is tested nearly daily. But what isn't tested frequently is when we have a second engine come to go to work at the humid valve. So our plan for you to test is to make sure that this coupling and connection is in good shape and that when we augment this humid, this part of the human is in good shape as well. So as the second new engine arrives, this is what they're going to see. Most likely most of these tasks are going to be being performed by straight up engineer. However, he may have a help. Today we're going to demonstrate just the engineer doing these tasks. As he arrives, he sees that that first new engine has put the human on and done a straight leg. His job is to augment that, increase volume, and increase pressure if necessary. As the engineer departs from the rig, he goes over to his compartment where a short section of five inch hose is stored. He goes to the intake of the engine and deploys from that point. He chooses to make his connection to the engine first. As you saw, it's always a good idea to grab a couple five inch spanners. Because remember, this is not your engine company's human. So that thing might be on a little bit more than hand tight. Now, it's always a good idea for the engineer to go ahead and grab a couple five inch spanners. Remember, we don't always know how tight those are. Also, as a lot of people know, these humans do tend to leak a little, which causes pressure on that storage cap. It's a really good idea to put a little relief valve on the outside of that to take some of that pressure off. So the engineer takes that cap off and will then immediately hook the five inch short section to the five inch discharge of the human. Once he gets the majority of his kinks out, he'll go ahead and open the humid valve. Gets the kinks out. Now he has good five inch water supply to his engine. Upon completing this task, opens it the rest of the way. At this point, now he's interested in augmenting that first engine's straight laid line. Always a good idea to understand which direction the hose is rolled up. Engineer Mix makes his connection to the intake side of the humid valve. Once this is complete, he grabs the other end of the three inch. Okay. Ray's taking advantage of the rear discharge gate. At this point, the engineer will radio the first arriving engine that has straight laid that he is going to augment that initial line and start with pressure going to that line. Checking which gate. <laughs> 
as always, checking for kink. This is where the two engineers will communicate as to how much pressure. Once the engineer has completed this test, whenever we go to work back at the plug, it's always really great if you can reverse line, rever reverse lay a line from the first new engine to your apparatus. You'll notice that Ray grabbed a double female, which will be necessary to make this connection. He pulls the hose out, makes his connection, or breaks the connection from the hose bed, applies his double female, connects it to the conveniently placed rear discharge, Nice job flaking his hose out. He returns to the engine panel and will now charge that second line. At this point, now we have two three inch lines supplying that first two engine, which will give us excellent volume and all the necessary pressure that one would need. In the engines that are housed with truck companies, you can do this evolution with pumping to the aerial device. If you have no other engine or truck to pump to, to test this, one can simply put a ground monitor out there to act as the first arriving engine. Here we go. We really appreciate all the engine companies doing this test. As I said, these humans are a bit older and it's important that we test them. Once you have tested your human, we would appreciate it if you would email Captain DeBar and tell him that you have completed the test. Thank you.